We're in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado. I got my man Masaro of the Project London, and he's got too many tattoos, too many stories, so we better not waste any time. Let's go inside. You got some great artwork on you. I think you have too much actually to discuss all of it, but we're gonna try, yeah. we're gonna try. Uh, but first of all, you, you're still a pretty young guy. Yes. You have more tattoos than most tattoo veterans. How old <laughs> were you when you got started? I started when I was 16 on my 16th birthday, so I got one from my dad. Yeah, which one was that? That one was this one on my arm here. Yeah. And now I just extended it all the way. Yeah. What, what is it? What does this represent? Nothing. Nothing. I just thought like it was pretty, uh, yeah. I liked it. And, uh, well, is it a little bit like Polynesian style? Or? I think so, yeah, Maori. Because yeah. your, your dad, you know, Rodney Plunder, of course, well known yeah. writer also, uh, he's got a few tattoos himself, right? Yeah, he got his full body and he did it his full body over again, so. He did it over again? Yeah. How so? I don't know. You have to discuss that with him, so. <laughs> you wanted to feel it again? No, I don't know. So you could say you got it by example? No. No? No. Just just do it because I like it, not because he has a lot of tattoos. Because some like like real pure body art, some like to sell to stories or some some events happen in your life, you take a special tattoo. What's it for you? For me, uh, most of the reasons is just I think it's I see something pretty, you know, and I, I I just put it on. Sometimes I am just sitting at home, and then uh, I'm thinking by myself, what's to do today? Okay, I go to the to the to the tattoo shop and uh, yeah. get a tattoo fixed. Right, the same day. Might go to the park or see a ball game, whatever. You go to the tattoo shop. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> okay, I like the stuff. I see you have like a, like an earpiece and, and a feather on your neck. Mm -hmm. What are those? Nothing, just liked it. Yeah. So no no uh, specific reason or something. And then in your neck, I said the name Timmy Sailor. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, the, my last name from my mother's side. So yeah. How was your bond with your mother? Good. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very good. Yeah. What, what pro role does he play in your life? <laughs> my mother. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Uh, how. How, how to explain it or just my mom, yeah. Yeah. Your dad's name and your, no, your own name obviously is here, right, Glunder? Yeah, Glunder, my last name is uh, on my uh, arm. I put that tattoo uh, without permission from my dad when I was 16. You know, I got this one on for my birthday and then uh, I had to finish this one. Yeah. But I want to put something else first, so I put this one and this first and in the hope that he didn't mind because it's my dad's name my brother's name and my last name yeah right because uh, if you're on, on the inside of your name you see rodney it's your dad yeah and quentin now are your brothers yes yeah true All two right. of my uh, younger brothers so did he mind yeah he did why he didn't beat me up because i didn't ask you know and uh, i had a deal with him that i could take one tattoo and when i was 18 i could could do whatever i want but yeah. So, so I was still 16 years old there. Not the fact that you did get a tattoo, but the fact that you get without permission. Yeah. Wind him up. Okay. So I was wondering, growing up with your dad to be a fighter, did you ever fight your dad? No. No. <laughs> I got uh, I got beat up a lot by him when I didn't listen, you know. But uh, but uh, never fought with him or something. No, no. no. He beat you up. Yeah. Did, did it help? Did you be behave more after that? Huh? Did you behave more after that? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. No. No. Not. I. Uh, I'm always. I. I always listen to my dad. You know. But sometimes you're still young and you uh, do certain things your parents don't like. And yeah. Because I know you were a bit of a wild kid before, right? I'm still. You're still a yeah. wild kid. Yeah. But your behavior is a little bit better now. It's different, you know, because uh, people know me right now, so I have to behave. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Because what, what made the change? Because we know the story about you being you're going to jail and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, what what changed in your life? Nothing actually. I think uh, I'm still the same guy. You know, I obviously I went to prison for a year. After I uh, was released, I I trained just 
twice as hard, you know, twice as many. So I have, so I have less time to do uh, stupid stuff, you know, outside of the gym. Yeah. So does it open your eyes? Like you had to be work harder to stay on the right track all the time. Yeah. Also. Yeah. And how's it going so far? I'm fighting in glory. I'm in Denver now. So that says it all. Right? Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about that. What what does that sound for? Yeah, when I was 18, the whole thing about Illuminati and shit and a uh, third eye triangle stuff was in and uh, I let somebody uh, make a, you know, make a little piece of art for me yeah. and uh, I just tattooed it on my chest, yeah. you know. It says, I walk alone from uh, Saliva, that's a, that's a group here from uh, the US. All right. Yeah, because you, you you like into like like pop culture and stuff like that. Yeah, I listen a, a lot to rock music, and yeah. uh, that's why actually. Big Chili Peppers fan. Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite album? Uh, the Getaway. So. Favorite song? No, I like a lot. I like yeah, a lot of songs. Not, yeah, not, yeah. 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 Ever seen them play live? Yes. Yeah. I did in a uh, in a Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam. What's on your back? Uh, it says King of My World is also uh, uh, the name of a song of uh, the same band, Saliva. So yeah. and I think I'm a king of my own world, and it's yeah. just a song I uh, listen a lot. Yeah. In, in what way do you see you're a king of your own world? I can do whatever I want, you know? That's, that's how I think, and that's how, that's how I, uh, I live by that rule in life. So yeah. I do whatever I want. Here on Upper Leg, I have uh, my favorite anime, Naruto, you know. I uh, watched it years, year after year, you know, every single episode. And, uh, you know, it, it uh, sometimes some, some episodes are emotional or just super cool and stuff. And that's why I put that on my leg. Then on, on the back side, so I thought, first thought it was a Transformer, but it isn't. No, it's a Master Chief from uh, the Master game, Chief. the game Halo. So uh, it's the it's the it's the main uh, main character from the game. So play that game for years and uh, stay up till morning. Have to go to school. You're a big when, gamer. Not anymore, but uh, I was before. So I have to train a lot now. So I I don't got like that much time and that I had uh, before, yeah. so. The Shin, I think I know these three crosses. Yeah, it's, you tell me. You tell me, I know, I know. I'm from the same place, you're near the center of the city of Amsterdam. Yes. What does the city of Amsterdam mean to you? You know, it's my hometown where I grew up and everything and uh, what made me who I am, you know. Uh, when I was younger, was a lot outside, a lot, you know. Yeah. During day and night, I, I did a lot of things. Uh, Legal and illegal in the street, so it's a bit. Uh, everybody, yeah. you know, can relate from Amsterdam. Can relate what I what I mean. Born and raised in the streets of Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Could you any live anywhere else? Uh, I never I never lived outside of Amsterdam. No. no. Could you? No. No. You don't want to? I don't want to. No. no? It's just uh, it's it's uh, everything is so uh, you know it's so close by. It's always crowded and. Uh, Everybody knows each other in Amsterdam, so why? I have everything I need in Amsterdam. Yeah. What's the one thing that you see? Uh, that's what that's what's missing from about it. That you I still have to get. Whatever happens, is there is there no. like a missing part? No, no, not, no, no, no. Uh, it's by me. If if you know, I can maybe tomorrow I wake up. I want to put something new and. Uh, look it up on the internet or uh, let somebody draw it for me and uh, go to the tattoo shop. So, hey, how's it going? Look, we're actually in a tattoo shop right now. Yeah. So, so I have to fight. Here? Yeah, empty I have chair. So <laughs> we sit down, so we do it now? No, I have to fight, so. I have to fight, yeah, because we're possible, in Denver yeah. for a fight. All right, so we'll find out later how that goes. Mm -hmm. So, shall we go then? Yes, we All go. Right. I want to say thank you for your time. Yes, All the you're best. welcome. Good luck with your fight. Thanks. See you next time. Peace. Thank you for watching Bodywork.